my body. Oh, fuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. So you're really going to block the star of Gore World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are you serious? The star of Gore World? Hey, girl gang, what up, everybody? Good to see you guys. Ah, oh, I'm so glad to be here. Oh my god, happy Monday! I hope your Mondays went smoothly. It's over. Woo! It's like halfway to Friday once Monday's done. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's me. Did you meet Shannon Puppy? No, I did not meet Shannon Puppy. Not yet. <laughs> wait, wait. I didn't go last week. Uh, I wasn't feeling it, to be honest. I, I explained last night, last week. Anyway, we canceled. But uh, soon, I will. How are you guys? That's right. Wicked Mom, four more days. Woo! Four more days. Woo! Friday is my Monday? Oh, damn. That sucks. That Well, well. Hey. Right. My eye is so freaking itchy today. I don't know what's going on. I'm a wreck tonight. Anyway, hi, everybody. Listen, tonight has turned into a bit of a, a three in one. We have three reactions to do tonight. If you guys are down, have a have a little laugh on this Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to work in reverse chronological order. Chronological. I couldn't even say the word. Reverse chronological order tonight. So Chantal just put up something called... Oh, what is it? Wait a minute. Better than McDonald's knockoff chicken snap racks with loads of ranch. And that's where it cuts off my screen. <laughs> then we're going to watch her mini Lush haul and Lush Halloween 2023 display in store shopping coming soon. And then we're going to finish with what she put out last night. The eating Chinese takeout for a family stream. Eating Chinese takeout for a family. Like, she, I guess she's trying to troll us with that title. I don't freaking know. I don't doubt for a second that she actually ate a serving for a family. Um, but yeah, this this is what it is. This is the trolly title that she gave the stream. The, the feedery clickbait. I don't know that she gave the stream. Yes, that's right. Today is payday. YouTube payday, if you're Canadian anyway. Today... The YouTube money drops in the account, right? So isn't it ironic that today we get a lush haul? We haven't had a haul of fuck all in a long, long time. They are broke. They have been broke. We know that they've been broke. I think this pretty much confirms it to anyone who was doubting. On payday, we get a lush haul. So clearly she was waiting for that money to drop to go and buy the lush crap. Okay, okay. She waited all month for this. It better be good. Anywho, without further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, there's three reacts to do tonight. So uh, we are going to start with the uh, better than McDonald's one. Damn it. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Him. That, madam, that's that's a little demonic right there. That's a little scary right there. That is Hachem. Hi guys, salam alaikum. So today is day 800 million, 55, 68 billion day of being sick. I'm not like, I'm slightly better than I was before. No fever, but... So I just made something really quick. Like honestly, just like air fryer 
um, hold on, onion rings and knock off McDonald's. Um, I'm not eating at McDonald's anymore. So McDonald's. Um, Why aren't you eating at McDonald's anymore? Are you not going to give any details or are you just, you're just going to say that like a huffy little bitch? I'm not eating at McDonald's anymore. Why, ma'am? What what could have possibly happened? What did McDonald's do that made you turn yourself right off of McDonald's? Hey, Chantal, I got news for you. It's Burger King too, bitch. Bloop! Snack wraps, which I can probably make better myself because I can put a boatload of ranch and more cheese. Like when you order snack wraps from McDonald's, they put a little sprinkle of cheese. Even though McDonald's is rich and they can afford people to have more cheese, they don't. <laughs> and Red Rooster, in case I need it. <clears throat> okay and some berry juice with ice yeah it's the best and all right and some pickles of course and some leftover bits here all right so bismillah and let me show you one of these wraps here okay that meal looks like shit and i know i have been saying that lately about all the food she eats but this one yeah. what the fuck those I, I love onion rings those look awful just she doesn't know how to work a air fryer properly. I don't know. And the uh, chicken strips, it's the same problem as last time. Her fat ass insists on loading that uh, air fryer with so much food that it doesn't cook. It doesn't fry up and crisp up the way it's supposed to. You're supposed to put one layer on an air fryer, you fucking fat. She dumps the entire bag of nuggies on there and wonders, like, why are they so, like, mushy and uncrispy? Mm, can't imagine. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Should have. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Beauty bite. Mmm. Mmm. My ears started doing this popping thing. Like, I think I have an ear infection because that's, I think that's why they gave me antibiotics. The onion rings and Thousand Island dressing. The onion rings and you don't know what you have? Somebody just gives you antibiotics and you're just going to take them? You don't know why? You don't know what you have? Okay. Not burnt, they're blackened. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> no way. Tastes like blooming onion. Now remember, right? The uh, order of operation here. Had she, oh wait, this was posted today. But did she eat this today? Or was this eaten yesterday before that payday hit? I would guess that she ate this yesterday or filmed eating it yesterday and put it up today. This is like a poverty meal, I want to say. It's one of her like uh, waiting on payday type meals. Let's see what the next mukbang is. That's what she ate today. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make something better tomorrow. I mean, like something healthier. Yeah, exactly. That was perfect. I'm going to try and make something better tomorrow, a.k.a. tomorrow I'll have my money and I can afford to buy something better than this swill on a plate that you're watching me eat now. I'm just frustrated because it's almost Halloween and they're going to run out of Halloween things and I want to go shopping. But now I have to wait. What do you need Halloween things for? I'm sorry for all these uh, quick pauses, but she's just being ridiculous. You're a Muslim now or cosplaying as one anyway. You don't need Halloween things. Halloween is chicham. Unless you plan on like buying a pumpkin to carve it up and then fucking cook it. I don't know what you need Halloween things for. That's ridiculous. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. A pen of hogs has more manners than this dumpster. Agreed. You know, I've been waiting because I've been sick. Pickles. Oh, these are so good. Oh. No be yell. No be yell. I'm not giving you this junk food.
<clears throat> so you know when you, your ear does that poppy thing? Mm. Yeah, no fucking way is she gonna keep this McDonald's boycott going long. Watch, in a few days she'll eat McDonald's and she's gonna tell us, oh no, because uh, they reversed their opinion on the uh, Israel Hamas conflict. You know what I mean? And we're gonna be like, no, no, they didn't. What are you talking about? She's like, oh, you uncultured swine. Why don't you go and read? Why don't you research anything? Okay, boop, boop, boop. And do that condescending hand thing that she did the last time she gave a political opinion. You remember? Yeah. She's going to try and gaslight into believing that that actually happened so that she can eat her McDonald's. Yeah. Is that correct? Ooh, rabid, rabid sugar. Hold on. Wait, let me go real time in the chat. I'm, I'm, I'm not far behind. Wait, uh, uh, wait, wait. This is great. What if salad won't allow it in the house? Well, here's what I would say to that. She would be like, do you want papers? He'd be like, yeah. She's going to be like, well, I want McDonald's. And he's going to run his ass over to McDonald's and bring her whatever the fuck she wants from McDonald's. Huh? I on the prize. He doesn't give two shits about this like political uh, eh, whatever either. You know what I mean? If he really stood behind his principles and stuff, he wouldn't be cosplaying with this bitch of a wife and uh, attempting to get to the Western world like that. No, this is somebody without principles who is uh, to a certain extent cosplaying just like his fat wife. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. I want some fall candles. <coughs> I don't want to order online. I want to take you guys shopping. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help it. Anyway. I know you're thinking, well, you don't leave the house a lot. Actually, we kind of, like, do. I mean, not every single day, maybe. <laughs> but when I don't have the choice, that's when I really want to go. <laughs> God, she's such a wreck. Every, anyway, I'm not even going to say it. Why, why make you guys sick with what I'm noticing, too? Um, but she can't get him papers. He's pissing against the wind, right? Like, we all get that. <laughs> I think he's too fucking stupid to realize that. And it is what it is. I have heard some, like, real cockamamie theories in the community lately about him being smarter than anyone realizes. And there's, like, a network of people working with him. And, like, ooh, she should be real scared of what could happen and yada, yada, yada. To that, I say hard disagree and a little chuckle under my breath. I think he's way more stupid than anybody actually believes. He's a fucking moron, in my opinion. Here's what I think happened. He watched somebody close to him get to Canada or the States or God only knows. I'm guessing Canada because that's where he had his goal set, right? He saw somebody do this. He saw somebody like either a, a legit marriage of convenience or play somebody for papers. And he saw that, wow, look at that. And they got there, but he's a fucking idiot. Definitely not bright enough to do this. Well, <laughs> okay. I think people give him way, way too much credit. He's not smarter than we all think. He's like way dumber than we've all thought. I think so. Uh, salt and lightly blonde. Thank you for the super chat. I want Julia to walk across her plate. Oh, that would be great. Just, she would definitely still eat it. She would just go like, baby girl, you know, she didn't eat it. I want the cat to pause and shit on her plate. Then we'll see what she does. 50, 50. She's still eating around the shit. I don't like feeling confined. Hmm. I was this close. Mm. 
to ordering food. Pixie, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. And I was going through everything. Like, I don't want pizza. <clears throat> Not just that, but I'm not eating pizza from Pizza Hut, Domino's, or Papa John's, so that leaves, like, no options. Uh, 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 why? What's wrong with Domino's or Papa John's? <laughs> oh, my God. This is fucking hilarious to me. Well, the type of pizza I was craving, you know, the junky, greasy? Anyway, I'm trying not to eat fast food places. I'm trying to make my own, you know. Yeah, bitch, because you have none left. <laughs> the only company that I had heard of in the community, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying there's only one. I'm just saying, by chance, in the community, the chatter, on Twitter, I had only heard of one company um, who, let's say, would have fallen into her political leaning or fake political leaning, and it was Lush. And tonight we're getting a Lush haul. But all of these fast foods that she loves so much, she has to pretend now to be boycotting, you know, for the cosplay. <laughs> this is amazing. What a fucking turn of events. And some people think she doesn't get her karma. <laughs> Snail, thank you for the super chat. Wow, that's amazing. Some happy news. My now fiance proposed on Sunday at a weekend fall festival. That's amazing. Congratulations to you both. So. <coughs> I was really craving snack wraps with a ranch and onion rings. So I thought, hmm. -mm. I cannot justify wasting money on subpar takeout. Because when you order out, it's like at least 30 bucks almost. I got a discount on the Chinese takeout. Of course you did. Did you ask them, though, before you placed your order, uh, what their political uh, opinions are on the current uh, conflict going on in the Middle East? Shouldn't you maybe ask everywhere before you order any food at all? Since it seems so important to you, you're literally going to decide what companies to or stuff your face from. <laughs> I think you should have asked them. Did you ask? I'm sure you didn't ask. I love this. Burger King. No more Burger King. No more McDonald's. No more of her junk ass pizzas. What does she have left? Oh my God. Wait, that chicken place. What was it? What the fuck was that chicken place called? Oh God, that chicken place they've had a few times. Do you guys remember? What the hell was it called? Ooh, I want to Google it immediately and find out. Oh, does anyone, I'm going to go back and look. What the fuck was that? Cane's? Raising canes or something? Or was it just canes? Canes! It was canes. All right, I'm pressing play on this. I'm going to Google. Because on the delivery app, they have this thing called gems. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Old Soul. Thank you for the super chat and bless. <laughs> or you can like, they rotate restaurants and they offer discounts. <laughs> so I always check from there first. Why not, right? If you can save money. And they had the Chinese place, so I tried it. It was all right. Anyway, when you have food in your house, you could just make it, you know. So. I'm trying little things like this to be more responsible. Ma'am, shut up. Shut, I'm so not even listening to her right now. Hold on. I'm on the Google hunt and I can't find the answer. And I'm dying to know the answer. It's sort of all she has left. Fast food wise anyway. Oh God. Come on, Raising Canes. Pick a side. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Eh? Wait, wait. 
I doubt canes will work for her. She they've eaten it quite a few times. She'll like uh settle for it. Is that fair? I don't know. Hardy's. Oh yeah, there was Hardy's a few times too. All right, all right. Damn it. Um. I'm not wasteful of the groceries I buy. Especially with people who have no food in the world, like. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry to cut her off. We will go back. Uh, <clears throat> question, um, you remember when they changed the car? Am I crazy or did they get a Hyundai? Are they not currently driving a Hyundai around Kuwait? Just correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like it was a Hyundai. Because um, <laughs> I'm not going to say it until you confirm that it was a, it's a Hyundai. Okay, it's a Hyundai. Well, 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 guess who Hyundai supports? <laughs> you better go burn the fucking car and get on the bus, bitch. Y'all like, you can't be driving that Hyundai now. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. How the fuck did you pronounce that? How do you pronounce Hyundai? I can't say it like that. I know that's how you should, but my brain, Hyundai, I have to think about it. It's a Hyundai to me. Anyway, listen, potato, potato, Hyundai, Hyundai. The point is they're supporting Israel in the conflict. So <laughs> So. <coughs> the minute I feel better, oh my gosh, look out. Except for the days I don't feel well. Mentally. See, Rachel, thank you for the super chat. In my opinion, it's the same old, same old. This is the same kind of bullshit life she's been living for years. Wake up around noon, roll your ass out of bed, start uh, YouTube searching your own name, decide what food you're going to eat first, you know? Um, it's the same bullshit life she's always had. The difference is now she's trying to convince us how happy she is. And before she used to constantly be trying to convince us how depressed she was. We know she's as depressed now as she ever been with that hideous ass ring on and a fake husband. It makes no difference. These are good. They pretty much taste the exact same. Oh, you don't say deviled eggs. Thank you for the super chat and the info. Pepsi is part of the boycott, but she just had one. <laughs> Actually, a little better. No, no lie. Salah loves them. <coughs> but he hates onion rings. <laughs> Julie, I like a good theory, Ben, but I I'm sorry. This one's impossible. Thank you for the super chat. Why do I say that this one's actually impossible? Because we've seen them. If if we had never seen him on video, yeah, okay, fine. After all this time, sure, I could go with that theory too. When we have seen for almost a year now the lack of chemistry from both sides here, you know what I mean? She desperately wants him to want her. He's sickened by her. It's visible now. I don't think he actually loves her, likes her, wants anything to do with her further than the papers.
fucking say something. So yeah, I really want to go shopping. I know I've said that, but I've been longing. Uh, I'm the same. Okay, when I used to be broke, every every week I, I was like paycheck to paycheck and like broke. I worked downtown and when you get paid and you're already downtown, you get home broke, like on payday. I was a little shit. Anyway, whatever. Long story short, oh my God, because then it was such a long ass week until you got paid again. Imagine waiting a month, right? Hell yeah, I'd be like, I want to go shopping too. I want this and I want that. All you think about all week is all the things you're going to spend the next paycheck on and shit. That's how she's been living for like, I was going to say a month, but it's realistically, what, about four or five at this point. It just gets a little worse now every month as it goes on and on and her channel dies a slow, slow death, you know? <laughs> Oh, Abby, that's cute. Thank you for the super chat. No. A skincare or a shampoo conditioner? After that month long. <clears throat> what the fuck does a bald woman need shampoo and conditioner for? Vacation? But... <clears throat> The snail serum cream, I swear the only thing I can use on my skin is Lush. It's like the best thing for my skin. You know, the irony with her saying something like that, the only thing I can use on my skin is Lush. It's like the only thing that works on my ultra sensitive skin. You have the worst skin. Your filters, maybe you're buying what you see, bitch. We know the reality. You're always breaking out. Your skin is very splotchy and uneven colored and stuff. You don't have good skin. You more like people would look at that and be like, oh God, you've been using Lush? Okay, it's time to not use Lush. Like try something else. It's clearly not working for you. You see that face and you're like, oh shit, yeah, I got to continue doing what I'm doing. Although can you really blame the Lush in her case? Just because you buy the products doesn't mean you're actually washing your face and fucking using them. You know what I mean? Eh. I bought like skinny people foods before too. <laughs> Didn't mean my fat ass lost any weight. You know what I mean? Just because you buy them and like procure them and they're in your home doesn't mean shit. Crazy Joe's other lover. Thank you for the super chat. Five days ago, discover videos related to does raising cane support Israel on TikTok. Ooh, thank you. I'm not obviously not sponsored by them, but I just love their their products. Like, I like them a lot. <laughs> Crazy Joe's other lover. Thank you again for the super chat. So. This wrap, super heavy. Yum. Mm. I've just been into a big cheese. I totally agree. Lily, he is playing the long game, and it's one hell of a long game. But I, I agree with that. And Hot Wasabi, I agree with you, too. Sa salad is hoi key sickened by her. Agreed, just like the rest of us. Mm? She needs to really count off. Finny, thank you for the super chat. What about McCain's and Bird's Eye and the frozen food people? They might be supporting his real too. It's true. You never know. <laughs> where where do you draw the line? You know what I mean? What what do you decide like, no, I'm not eating McDonald's anymore, but then everything else is okay? I don't know. If you're gonna do it, you gotta fucking do it. 100 percent it. You can't half ass it. <laughs> Easy ranchy bite. I remember someone pranked me. Trolls. And sent snack wraps to the villa. But all they had inside was ranch and lettuce. That's such a waste of food, you know? You're going to pretend like you didn't eat the fucking wrap, cheese, and lettuce? And mayonnaise? I think you did, ma'am. Stop lying. 
Rachel, thank you for the super chat. I'm still going with the uh, with the psychic had said. She said three years to get out of this. Who knows? Who knows? Somewhere between today and three years. So like what? She got like two more years. Ooh. My cat is the weirdest. You see that gray blob in the corner? Wait, here's the question though. If it, okay, hypothetical. Let's assume the psychic is correct. Okay, and there's like two more years of this bullshit almost to the day. Will we still be watching this shit in two years? Uh, I'm going to guess no. Because if it's like, oof, if you look back at her channel just a year ago before she came to Kuwait and stuff, where she was there and where she is today, ooh, yikes. I don't know that this channel can last another two years like this. There's a box and a comfortable comfortable bed but she would rather sleep on her uncomfortable looking scratcher cardboard hard cardboard addicted to cold brew thank you for the super chat lush has come out um publicly uh, uh like uh in defense of the palestinian people i don't get it The amount of juice I drink, I get vitamin A, B, A through Z. <laughs> I know that's not true. Oh my God, this is funny. Cherry Berry, thank you for the super chat. Hey, friend Jay, I made salad and Chantal in The Sims 4, and I made him an actual attractive woman to cheat with, and she got so mad. She died of rage. I cackled and wanted to share. That's so funny. Somebody else told me the, almost the same kind of story. I get this email. Hey, Frenchie, I played The Sims 4. I've made a, like a household of Chantal and Salad. But Salad also had somebody to cheat with. But what the person had done was put, there's apparently you can get like a, a tent, like a camping tent in The Sims. So there was a camping tent on the front lawn. And he used to only fuck the side piece in the tent on the front lawn. <laughs> And like stupid Chantal is inside, like cleaning up and cooking something. And he's literally fucking on the front lawn. That is so funny to me. Oh my God. And like probably not that far off of reality. <laughs> Next thing you know, there's going to be a video. Health expert explains why Foodie Beauty's juice doesn't have vitamins in it. <laughs> it's coming. I mean, I thought it'd be fully better by now. Mm. Anyway, now it's a lot of sick, so. Who got who sick, though? You got him sick or he got you sick? And where did you get sick from? Was it the travel? Was it a red room somewhere? Who knows? I got questions. Julie, thank you for the super chat. Why doesn't she get stuff from the ordinary or inky list? Easy to use, no fuss. You get what you pay for. It's, you know what? She's an idiot. She likes the idea of going to a lush. She likes to say the word lush. She likes the overwhelming smell at a lush store because it's the only place that she doesn't smell her own musk. <laughs> the lush covers up her musk. I don't know. It's it's like the gimmick of the bullshit or something. I, on the other hand, find Lush so disgusting and obnoxious smelling that uh, the two past Christmases in a row when we gave our, the, did the uh, 12 days of giveaways, Lush was a day of giveaway both years. I kept it in the trunk of my car because I didn't want to bring it in the house because it smelled so bad and was giving me a headache. This meal, not fully homemade. I mean, it's from packages, but.
Mm, good dressing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember in my grocery haul, that trio of dressings? The Ranch Ranch and Thousand Island? All three have been really good. And it was maybe 350, equivalent of maybe 350 for all three. That's awesome, isn't it? Mmm. She hasn't really said anything. Has anything at all been said in this? Nothing. Talking about food, shooting the shit, like, why is this a video? I know we say it all the time, but man, it's gotten really bad. At least before, it just used to be like boring stuff that she'd be talking about. Now, there's nothing, absolutely nothing to be said in this. Why did you have to make this into a video? I don't get it. If there's no taxes to pay, it's not like you're expensing this food anyway. Why the fuck did this have to be a video? This can't be feeder content. This is disgusting. This isn't like what the feeders are looking for, I'm assuming. Or is it? Is that, ooh, the loads of ranch thing? Is that some kind of like signal to the feeders? Ugh. Do you remember that woman who used to be in Chantal's chat sometimes? She was like, I, I do believe her name was Sauce Queen. Oh my God. And it was like a mukbang channel. She had those glasses and she would like purposely like, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> there was sauce all over her face. It was the most disgusting shit I have ever seen. Is that what she's going for with this? Can we leave? Can we just, what if I just went like this? And I just went like this. And like poof like that, it's over. <laughs> Ultraviolet Shade, thank you for the super chat. I forgot. Happy Scorpio season. It starts today. Woo, the fuck shit commences. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, you guys are down to leaving that one? Okay, great. Let me close that tab. We have two other things to get through. Uh, since we've been talking about the Lush, let's do the Lush next, all right? Mini Lush Hall and Lush Halloween 2023 display in store shopping coming soon. Hold on, let me get the tab. Okay, I'm going to do a quick video showing you what I got from Lush today. And uh, on the box, I think, you know, it's so cute that they wrote, Attention, don't melt my heart. Keep me out of the sun. Naked product. So, yes. Um, let me just open this here. So, this is Lush in Kuwait. Okay, hold on. Mm, wait a minute. Goth o'clock. There are feeders who like messy eaters. Yeah, uh, right? That I got that from them insisting on the fucking sauce all over their faces and stuff. And not all feeders are men, FFG. When did FFG ever say that they were? Eight. Excuse me. I think something. And their packaging at Lush is amazing. I love it. Hello. <laughs> so... Check it out. Oh my gosh. So we have a Lush newsletter. New Lush innovations. And what is this already? What is it? She's not sponsored. We know she's not sponsored. Is she trying to get sponsored? Does she think that Lush is going to want to sponsor her? <laughs> Do we remember the last time a small cosmetic brand sponsored her for a video and she ate the lip scrub because she is that kind of a pig? And then the woman who owned the company contacted her and told her to remove the video and like kind of never talk about her company again. Yeah, Lush doesn't want anything to do with you. <laughs> Kate, thank you for the super chat. Maybe the psychic's prediction of weight loss will finally come true with the boycotts. <laughs> the boycotts are like so broke you just can't eat there anymore i don't know i don't know it's one of those chicken or the egg questions wow there's some really cool things i'm going to take the time to um check this out the one thing i'm excited about are the ipads here that's cool lush ipads 
Now they also give you tons and tons of samples. Like um, you could ask for as much as you want, really. I mean, within reason. But um, so okay, let's do this. Uh, so the first thing I got is a moisturizer. Now I wanted to try a um, solid facial oil kind of moisturizer. So this is Argan Solid Facial Oil. So it has fair trade cocoa butter, fair trade shea butter, argan oil, date syrup, dried dates, organic rosehip oil, Pakistani rose absolute rose oil, geranium oil, lemon oil, aloe vera extract, prickly pear oil, citrulline, coumarin, geranium, and yeah, that's about it. So let me open this up for you. Whoa. Oh, cool. And it comes in. So this is, oh, it smells nice and light. So this is what it is. Huh. It's interesting. I have to say, I've never even heard like the ingredients of a lush product like that. There's, it seems to be no chemicals. It really is all natural stuff. How can all that natural shit fuck her face up so bad? Or is it just one of those cases where it's like, no matter what products this woman uses, she would have bad skin. It's like beyond the products. Maybe it could be because that sounded really good for like a face thing. You, you know what I mean? Lil Rebecca, thank you for the super chat. It is. It will melt and touch, so be careful. But um, yeah, it has a little folder here. So that I'm going to put on my face after I wash it. That will be my moisturizer. I also purchased Happy Skin. This is a cleanser. It's an, it's an enzymic facial exfoliator. I have used this before, and it really brightens your skin with like one use. Vitamin rich and full of ground tagua nut. Tagua nut and bamboo combo this exfoliator will help gently clear and cleanse your skin so check this out it smells amazing it smells very bright and it's just it's a very very fine grit to it and it's very moisturizing at the same time it's so amazing um i don't know how to explain but yeah this product was packed by neil hi neil <laughs> all right so yeah again i don't know it, nothing nothing wrong necessarily with this stuff but Diet and soap. Yeah, I, I just, I will stand by this. You can't just not wash your face. You can't. You can't just buy this lush crap and use it once a week on the once a week that you like maybe take a shower or something. Of course, your face is going to look like shit. Of course, every fucking pore on your body is going to be clogged to shit. You know, you got to wash, man. That's happy skin. And this is Argan Oil Solid Moisturizer. I also purchased tofu cream shampoo. I have not used this, so I will have to let you guys know how it is. It looks like a new product. It smells very lightly floral, very light. Um, this product was made by Scott. Has the expiration date. Yeah, hold on. Is it just called tofu or is there fucking tofu in the goddamn shampoo? <sighs> Y'all are going to make me feel old with this. If there's actual tofu in the shampoo, what in the hippie shit is going on here? Oh, come on, man. Can't you just use a normal shampoo? Again, I still don't understand what a bald woman needs shampoo and conditioner for. But for fuck's sake, it's like the world has just come, like, uh, ran out of ideas. And now the only ideas they come up with is stupid, okay? Tofu shampoo? Fuck off with that. Come on. Get on here. Um, vegan protein. No way. Give your hair a break from breakage with silken tofu to restore the strength of processed hair. So this is a vegan product. There is fucking tofu in the goddamn shampoo. Why does that make me so angry? Oh my God, wait, where's my pen? <laughs> I'm marking this one down. We're doing this one for the Christmas giveaway. Damn it. Lush tofu shampoo. Now, whoever wins it, if you get it, like you win it, you receive it, you use it once, if you don't immediately go bald, you'll let us know how it goes, okay? Nancy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Product, um, and inside of this is um, meadow sweet infusion, silken tofu, glycerin, organic agave syrup, grape juice, witch hazel extract, water, um, angelica root oil, orris oil, fennel oil, lemon myrtle oil, organic extra virgin olive oil, rice vinegar, um, yeah. Those are some of the main ingredients. So I'll see how that. <sighs> Glycerin in the shampoo? Am I crazy or do you see bottles of shampoo? I wouldn't know anything about that because I don't deviate from my faves. But specifically bottles of shampoo that say glycerin free. 
Am I nuts or have I read that before? Because what would be the point of making all this hipsy dipsy, like good for you, no chemical, nothing, and then putting that shit in it? I don't get it. Strengthens my hair. Definitely needs it. <laughs> and I also purchased, wow, they changed the, um, in Canada, it's in a bottle and it's very liquidy, veganese conditioner. This is also a vegan product. You can check here on the bottom. And this was packed by. Oh shit, you guys are right. It's sulfate free is what you read sometimes. Ah, not the glycerin. The glycerin is fine for your hair. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I don't know about either of those things. I know my Pantene, it's got all the fucking, what was the word again? Tabarnak, I already forget. <laughs> oh my God, sulfate free. Oh, it's got all the sulfates, but whatever. Oxygen peroxide, thank you for the super chat. By Christian. And um, the Arabic writing here. Um, wow, it's very thick. A, a light lemon scent because there is lemon in here um it's not liquidy but that's that's good because i want like a heavy duty conditioner i find my hair is just like dry so it has agar, agar. oh is it because you always call my fucking side pony dry when it is quenchy hydrated and luscious you have no fucking hair you've just grown out your little fucking baby bird uh, feathers again and they're dry already <laughs> that's a shame <laughs> chantal's back off sandwich thank you for the super chat frenchie's in a fucking mood frenchie went back to work today frenchie hates the world today Agar gel rosemary infusion lavender flower um water um, what are some lemon oil, fresh lemon juice? Um, so yeah, some other things, but the main ingredients. Um, the lightweight vegan conditioner will leave your hair soft and bouncy. And I have used this before, and it is very light. And because I have thin hair, I don't want a conditioner that's very thick and heavy, and I'll just weigh my hair down. But so I, this is ma'am, weigh what down? To repurchase. I've purchased this, so this will be about the fourth time I purchased this. So I'll let you guys know how the tofu is and the argan oil is the first time for me as well. Now they give you, and these, by the way, these packing peanuts are completely dissolvable in water. And I think they're made with potato starch. So they are edible, but I don't. I was going to say, she's going to fucking eat one. I would advise you to eat them. <laughs> going to eat it. Um, so it says here, thank you. Package with care. So please handle with care. Nice. Um, what else? They gave me a ton of samples. I never get this many in North America. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> North America just doesn't even pack your products correctly. God, fuck off. It's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, most fragrance is bad for skin. I have heard that from everybody. And the fact that the, the, the Lush stinks to high hell, like it's got more fragrance than anything. There's no way that's good for her. All right. So we have here sympathy lotion. I think that's probably sympathy for the skin. Yeah. That light banana flavor uh, scent. You can see the little banana seeds in it. They use fresh ingredients. That's why they have an expiration date that, that's not very, very, maybe a few months or so, depending on the product. But um, yeah, 29 High Street, Cool Dorset, England. These are from, Lush is an English company, by the way. Originated in England. Lord of Misrule Shower Gel. I do have a bottle of this in my shower right now at the moment. Lord of Misrule is very Halloween um, holiday scented, but they do have it all year round now. But it's the hell does halloween scented me like like pumpkin spice that's so basic bitch that's nothing like special it was halloween scented it's scented like every other thing that every other person buys this month like boring i don't know i'm not such a pumpkin spice fanatic i cuddles cats thank you for the super chat that sounds very nice uh, um vanilla black pepper it's um and patchouli it's a weird mix but it works that's how, that's how I define Lush in general. It's a weird mix, but it works. Uh, silky dusting powder. Okay, this is good because this is, you want to put it on bits. Oh, that smells light vanilla. Where you want to keep your bits dry, you want to use this. Okay. My battery's going to die. Um, rehab salty shampoo. Okay, so rehab. Oh, so rehab has a new salty shampoo. This is sea salt, so very clarifying. And the rehab part of the shampoo is going to be restoring your hair. So that's nice. I have some coffee face and body mask this is ooh, a nice face scrub made with coffee okay 
and we have honey shower gel honey i wash the kids yeah honey i wash the kids made with honey one of their best signature scents like honey poppy oh, so boring everything is is this scent this scent and everything's such a fucking scent imagine being so broke that in your haul, you buy so few items that you have to fill your video with all the samples that they sell you. It's samples, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. It's like taking out little perfume samples and being like, and now I have this. You're showing your 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 perfume collection, all right? And you pull out a bunch of little fucking push-push samples. Oh, and then they have this sample, and then I have this perfume, and I have this one. I... Girl, show us what you bought. We don't need to see your fucking samples. This is pathetic. But anything to make it over 10 minutes. Hey, I was just going to say, how long is this video? 10 minutes and 31 seconds. Figures. Did she buy anything? I think she bought the first like three things that she had shown us at the beginning. Everything else is a sample. Fucking loser. Okay, with vanilla. All right, so I'm going to actually put in, end the video, showing you some of their Halloween products. So get out and get some Halloween products now. I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing any of just because, like, I don't really take very many baths, and a lot of them are bath products. So, um... Yeah, that's why you're not going to buy them. Uh, because ha Halloween is ham, <laughs> and also, you're broke. You've now been to the Lush. You're not going to go back to the Lush for months. We understand, girl. Stop acting like you're still pulling in that 20 grand a month. Like, oh, I mean, I'm not going to go and buy any Halloween items, but it's just because I don't take any baths. Shut up, you broke bitch! I'm just going to show you guys how cool some of the names are, some of the, the bath products are. So if you have a big bath, you love taking baths, um, you might want to run out and purchase some of these because they're really cool. And Lush is known. Their bath products are amazing. Their bath bombs, their bubble bars. So here we go. Thank you for watching this haul. And I'll end the video now and show you some of their Halloween things. Bye, guys. Thanks. Spooky Vitamin Chaos. Thank you for the super chat. That is, oh, my God. That's what I unlocked a memory from the past. Guys. Okay, the video is over. You would think, why the fuck is she putting these Halloween items? That's why. Had she ended the video here when the video was actually done, it would have been 8 minutes and 51 seconds, but she wants to always bring them over 10 minutes. So now we're going to see the crap that Lush has for sale for Halloween. You know what? I don't give two shits about what Lush has for sale for Halloween. Lush is swill. Fuck Lush. No one cares. Oh, my God. Embarrassing. You would think she was like sponsored to do that video or something, you know? She wasn't. She wasn't. Just anything to make her video become a 10 minute long video. How pathetic and fucking transparent can you be? 47 and friggin' fabulous. Thank you for the super chat. Reminder, she ate a packing peanut with Koki. She definitely did. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't her first one. <laughs> no fucking way. Nah, this is Chantal we're talking about here. She is extremely boring. You are right. <laughs> Definitely correct. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. What? No vanilla rose? <laughs> ah, yes. The miracle uh, that brought her hair back. <clears throat> Vomit. Vomit. These are spray vanilla rose. Uh, the crap she's slapping on her head to bring her hair back. Vanilla rose. So bad. And what the hell ever happened to the Beezer spray? And another thing. What the fuck? They had made that website. They were trying to hawk the Beezer spray to the actual Beezers. And then poof, we never heard another word of it. So literally the only people in the end who got to try the Beezer spray were the people who won the little giveaway and got the little push push of the Beezer spray. And she was so mad at the time that we did the giveaway. Oh, like people wouldn't be buying from her fucking cockamamie website because they had the chance to win a little sample on, the, on this channel, right? Nobody got a chance to buy it from her stupid website, even though nobody would have wanted to. So I guess it's a good thing that we had done that giveaway because, geez, what a schmuck. After Marty outed her, ah, maybe that's why she was scared to. Okay. Deirdre, Anna, thank you for the super chat. Just wanted to say I'm glad I found you, Frenchie, and the rest of the fries here. Ah, oh, well, thanks for having found us. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad I found all you guys, too. It's very, very mutual, girl. All right, y'all, what do you say? We have one more to watch. Eating Chinese takeout for a family. I think this is her attempt at trolling. Uh -huh. Let me get the chat.
you know, I was like kind of devastated because I really wanted a change and I wanted to have like a place that like made me look super like rich and posh. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Hi, guys! Oh my gosh, I was craving Chinese takeaway. I was. Um, so here it is. Never had from this place before, but uh, yeah, Bismillah. And am I gonna eat this whole big meal for eighty-five people? Yes, I am. Every freaking last crumb. I'm not even gonna leave a crumb big enough for a mouse. Sweet. Oh, she thinks it's cute to like exaggerate. Oh, look at that. Her meal for 80 people. No. And the exaggeration doesn't detract from the fact that that's two meals. You clearly ordered two fucking meals, ma'am. And those are hefty, hefty meals. Hmm. Kugaron, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Sweet and sour sauce. Six. Okay, let's eat these spring rolls. I'm so hungry. This food took forever. It better be good or I'm going to complain like a Karen. Here we go. Beauty bite. Update on my cat. She's finally out of heat. <laughs> so I think the medication worked. Yeah, I don't know. Do you? She's out of heat? Or, yeah, the medication worked. What medication? Oh, that's right. The medication they were forced to give to the cat because Chantal was negli uh, a negligent pet owner again and didn't get the cat vaccinated in a timely manner. And so therefore couldn't get the cat spayed. Well played, dumbass. Well played. I almost forgot about that from yesterday. Abby, thank you for the super chat. Mmm. Pepsi, vegetable spring rolls, sweet and sour chicken, and vegetable udon. And yes, I'm still quite sick. So, and now Salah is quite sick. So if I, there's a lot of jump cuts, it's because I need to tend to that somehow, cough or blow my nose. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh, Tweety, I was thinking the same thing. Now that the medication worked and the cat's like not annoying her anymore, watch, they won't go spay the cat. They'll wait till she goes in heat again and then just give her that medication that they'll keep for the next time. Have some veggies. You know what kind of, kind of Chinese takeaway I miss? Chicken balls with like that bright red sauce. Let me just. Well, that's because you're uncultured swine. You can barely even call that Chinese food. Come on, man. It's the most like Americanized Chinese food that exists. And another thing, I will never understand how you can be so fat and still so bad with the chopsticks. For the love of God, get a fork. This is embarrassing. It's udon. It's not like you're trying to pick up grains of rice. Udon is easy, man. Oceana Song, thank you for the super chat. You're right. Yeah, I'm garlicky. Ugh, these are hard to eat. Oh, the sounds make me want to die. Mm. Yum. They have like a garlicky sauce. Pineapple? Pretty girl. Puts the chopsticks down on that fucking tray, which I'm, I guarantee has never been washed. Filthy. Just, ugh, oh, the sounds. The way this woman eats. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not saying it. I would say the face only a mother could love. But if the mother had loved her, she wouldn't have abandoned her ass at the clinically depressed grandmother's house to be raised by a TV and a bag of Doritos. So you can't even say that in this heifer's case. Chantal's backup sandwich. Thank you for the super chat. Well, we're not sick. We 
we have to get a bunch of things for the kitchen. Well. Oh, now they need kitchen things because everybody's been criticizing the shit out of their kitchen, rightly so. Interestingly enough, I saw some pictures on uh, Twitter and it was from past videos of Chantal's where she's already in Kuwait and eating on a plate. So where did the plates go? What the fuck happened? You had them and now you don't have them anymore. Did they break while you were moving? Did something happen? Because that is fucking weird. I need some kitchen wares. <laughs> ah, Chantel's unflicked bean. I forgot how sick your ma your name makes me. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. It's just lightly breaded. No, I haven't had takeaway, and I think the last time I had takeaway was the mahashi, or. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's not true. I just can't off the top of my head come up with what she's eaten take take away since then. But I'm sure one of y'all will put it in the, <laughs> the chat. I, I'm sure it's not just the mahashi. I haven't ordered out in a few days now. We ordered dinner. One other time, other than the Mahashi, I had free shuela. I had um, chicken mash boos. Mm, that's good. No, no, she's saying takeaway now. She wants to be British. She wants to live on Coronation Street with hot wasabi. Mm? It's a takeaway. So once we're like, holy shit, are you kidding me? Stacy, thank you for the super chat. Cats can go into heat monthly? Oh my God. Well enough, because like I, I get days where I have little bursts of energy. Well, who am I kidding? Even cooking in those videos killed me, energy wise. You know, when I had to cough and, hi, pretty girl. <laughs> pretty love. But I want to go out and do some things like maybe live stream, walking around a mall. Um, shopping. There's a manic rhythm to the way she's eating tonight. It's uh, the money was about to hit and stuff. She's talking about shopping and, and the, the rate that she's like shoveling those pieces into her mouth. There's, there's mania, money mania going on. Psychic Twinkie. Thank you for the super chat. I blush. I want to get some fall scented candles. Did you hear that fucking swallow? My God. And why does she look at herself with everybody? Does she think this is cute? Oh my God. I'm getting so mad. It's so gross. I just heard her hard swallow. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. My God. Oh. I want to say there was almost like a sexual quality to it. It said, anyway, <laughs> use your imagination. It sounded like a sound you would have heard during something else. Okay. This is disgusting. Fuck, man. No one's coming to take the slop away from you. Slow the fuck down and take the microphone off. Or does she even have the microphone on? If you're not wearing the microphone, back off of the camera a little. Jesus, man. Oh, come on. Feeder content? You're, you're telling me right now that included in the feeder uh, uh, fetish is people enjoy hearing that kind of a swallow? Somebody somewhere got off on watching that bitch just take that swallow and listen to that sound? You have to be kidding me. That is not part of feeder, is it? Is it? 
I literally want to go and slap that person across the face. Whoever you are out there, listen. <laughs> listen up. If you if you just got off on that heifer stuffing that fucking mouthful of food down her gullet and the sound that it made, it, you and me, man, it's on site. I will knock you the fuck out if I ever meet you. Whoever you are, show yourself. Mm. We don't noodles are so good. Yummy. Mm. The sweet and sour sauce. See, the problem, the R man, thank you for the super chat. I don't think she uses the mirrors. I think she just uses the reflection in her phone. And the phone is set to 12 filters. So she doesn't get the reality. When she is shoving in a mouthful of those noodles and looking like I fucking herself doing it, she really thinks it's hot shit. This is too good. I don't know how to use chopsticks. So I know it's total cringe, but. So I want to get up and do more things, but also on the couples channel, we have a lot of videos we need to make. There's a lot more things to do in Kuwait. Oh, good Lord. What fucking dollar fifty zoo are they going to take us to next? There's a lot to do in Kuwait. We know. We know. We looked into this a year ago before you got there, bitch. We haven't seen any of the places that we saw on that little, that little tape from before you got there because... That's impossible. This is my copy. Uh, I swear to God. This computer, look at it. It's every day now. And I'm telling you, I never have a problem with this computer until we're live streaming. The computer is fed up of her shit. Hold on. Let me reload that tab. Sorry to break your hearts, but... <laughs> it works. You know. Because It's winter now. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, there's so much to do. It'll be more comfortable. Like desert camping. For anyone who wasn't around last year, desert camping, a.k.a. the place that they went last year and desert camped with a bunch of salads, friends, apparently. Uh, but what did they do? They woke up before everyone did in the morning and they left taking with them everything that there was to drink at the campsite, all the juice and all the bottles of water. And they left a bunch of people there camping, including children in the desert with nothing to drink in the morning. Yeah, go camping again, asshole. I bet you guys are really going to be invited back. With friends. Friends. Um, all kinds of things. Museums. I love museums. Actually, when we're in a museum, there's so much walking. But I never really feel, I never feel it. Oh. In the arms of the Cassie? Oh my God, was there a video on that? 
not made by her. Alla is the one who had told us that story. And while I do take most of what he says with a grain of salt, there were some things that he told us that I definitely believe. That's one of the things I believe because when confronted with it in her chat, she didn't laugh that off like it was one of the most ridiculous things she's ever heard in her life. She got so goddamn defensive and crazy that everybody understood immediately that he was telling the truth. As much. Interesting. Christy, thank you for the tip. <laughs> and the super chat. It was a double chicken royale, the last takeout. Oh, interesting. That Burger King. <laughs> I guess to her it doesn't count because it's Burger King. Infidels. I think it's because, like, we're doing something fun. I don't know most people who are used to following my channel. Mostly just love, like, when my life is messy kind of content. Well, no, that's an insult to the ones who do love when we do things like that. Oops. Who loves this? You find me one person who genuinely loves this. You're you're full of shit, Chantal. Nobody loves this. The people who pretend to love this are the trolls in your chat. Everybody was here for the crackhead Olympics. Everybody is here for a train wreck. Nobody gives a crap to watch your cosplay. So hard rock, thank you for the super chat. <sighs> but like Ah, uh, that Pepsi's good, huh? Ah, wash it down good with that Pepsi. Ah, who does Pepsi support in the conflict in the Middle East? Oh, that's right. Ah. <laughs> My life is like more stable than it's ever been in a long time, you know? And... So, I mean, for those just waiting around for a disaster, you'll have to keep inventing things because it's not going to happen. Oh, you delusional cow. <laughs> this might be a long game, but bitch, I got patience. <laughs> it's like I said, even if this whole thing is long done, I definitely understand that odds are we will not be watching this heifer anymore in two years, okay? Um, even if we haven't met up here and done this in a long-ass time, and we haven't done a Chantal video in a long-ass time, I'm telling you guys, for real, for real, you hear on Twitter or anywhere else that he, like, left her ass and she's melting down, you get over to this channel. It's going to be the biggest I told you so of all time. We're going to stream live for 24 consecutive hours of cackling like a motherfucking witch. <laughs> she's so dumb <laughs> but to those of you who enjoy the more wholesome wholesome um, content what would the wholesome content be this you stuffing your face on food for three people is that the wholesome content girl stop it shh, shh. Nancy thank you for the super chat there will be a lot more. And not only that, but we love doing it anyway. It's something to do together. Get this out. You know? Oh my God, Ragamuffin, thank you for the super chat. You're totally right. And I also just had a, a flashback to her on that dune buggy thing last year. That thing was already struggling. Can you imagine now? <laughs> it just sinks into the sand like it's going through quicksand. So I'd like to do every single thing we can here in Kuwait and then plan another travel. Inshallah. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, let's take a little guess. When could the next trip be? Oh, I don't know, somewhere around January 10th? <laughs> what convenient timing it'll be to time out again perfectly with the renewal of your next visa. I'm sure they will travel again. <laughs> Stop eye fucking yourself, you fucking pig. It's disgusting. You're disgusting and rotten from the inside out. The only person who finds this attractive is you. It looks like you just licked shit. It looks like there's literal shit on your bottom fucking lip right now. And you probably think this looks hot. Disgusting. It's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Thank you again for the super chat. Salad inadvertently showed all the drinks in their fridge post camping in one of the vlogs. Holy shit. <laughs> I remember one of her defenses of like, no, that didn't happen. That That's not even true. But we brought all those drinks and it was like, oh, okay. Thanks for telling us that it was true. I think, I think things happen for a reason. And if something doesn't work out, I think it's for your own protection. Hi. My sweet baby girl. <laughs> and I think the most recent experience I can think of as an example of that is remember when I was going to rent that house? For fuck's sake. Remember when I was going to rent the house? You're like kind of mid-sentence. Can you finish the goddamn thought? For Nobody's coming to take the food away. I don't understand this with fatties. The fast eating bit of it. Like, bitch, don't you want it to last? And like, <laughs> You enjoy the eating when you want it to last as long as possible? I don't understand. And yeah, yeah, finish that sentence because I'm ready to pounce on it. I want to hear all about the, the house that I almost rented because that was definitely not the last example. If you really want to go chronologically what the last example would have been, the last example would have been the last time that you dove between Dee Dee's fucking Arby buns on the fucking purple mattress in Lachine and you still couldn't make the, make the crackhead leave Dee Dee. So in a huff like a lunatic, you went to Kuwait. That would have been the last time telling us some bullshit story now, pretending like Kuwait didn't happen or like the incident with the Arby's sandwich didn't happen. Girl, stop it. That house was $3,000 or more. I think it was even more. Flower Power, thank you for the super chat. But you know what? Fuck him. She ruined salads. Like, what fucking life? What fucking life did the little bitch, floppy tit, big hip having man bitch have? He was sitting over there with his fucking ugly ass widow's peak, uh, putting his location to Canada, trying to get some fat bitch to hit like hook onto him for papers. It's not exactly like he was living the good life before she he met her. You know what I mean? Fuck him and fuck her too. And I just told everybody like 3,000. <laughs> but. I guarantee it was less than $3,000. They were talking about some fucking, a literal like cabin in the woods in Quebec. Quebec is much cheaper rent than Ontario. You're talking way outside of a major city major city being Montreal and Quebec pretty much. Yeah. There is no fucking way they were charging $3,000 for a cabin in the woods per month. Get fucked Chantal. Stop lying. Trying to like relive the heyday when I had money to spend on things. You never were spending $3,000 a month on rent. Stop it. And it was huge. Imagine the undertaking. And I would have had all that commitment to that house.
life commitment. It's a one year lease. You know what kind of a low life you sound like when you're pushing 40 and a one year lease on a rented dwelling is too much of a commitment for you. You are so fucking unstable, man. Christy, thank you for the super chat. And I would be leaving Canada anyway. So when last minute, it didn't work out. You definitely would not be leaving Canada anyway. This is the sliding doors, bitch. If you had actually roped Koki into like shacking up with you, you know, the way he did with Dee, Dee <laughs> and you had got him to live in that crap cabin in the woods with you and you had been able at the time to rent the cabin in the woods in your name, which you couldn't because of the two fucking bankruptcies. Stop lying. Stop like grandstanding, bitch. Uh, you would have never left the country. You would have never even met Salad because you would have had Koki and that's what you want to this day. So stop trying to rewrite history. It was a blessing. The owner canceled last minute. See, now she's melding two lies. I say this all the time. If you want to be a liar, you better have a real good memory. Because she does not have a good memory, but she loves to lie. Now she's talking about, she's she's melded two stories here. The story of renting the place in the woods that was back during Crack at Olympics when she was with Koki. And she wanted to literally physically isolate that man from Gatineau and from Montreal. So she was trying to rent that place in the middle of the woods to convince him to love her. But now the story has warped into that story right at the end. You remember the stupid villa? That fucking stupid story of the, not the villa, the, 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 that fake mansion that never really existed that she was claiming to rent at the end. That wasn't in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere. She's, she's such a bad liar with such a bad memory. She's just like confused the two stories into one. Yes, not salsa mansion. Exactly. Peacock butterfly. Thank you for the super chat. Have you talked to the psychic lately? Could it? I have no Chantal update. Um, so there's things like that in my life that have happened preventing my life from becoming a disaster. Like a real disaster. You're already a massive fucking disaster and you have no idea what's coming. Hmm? When he dumps you and you're now broke and you've completely just killed your channel and there's no real coming back from that and Koki wants nothing to do with you and you can't relive Crackhead Olympics and stuff, that's when it'll be the real fucking disaster. When you're back sleeping in your ma's basement in cornhole, <laughs> trying to, I don't know what, get back on fucking disability, you fucking leech, you know? That's when it'll be a real disaster and it's coming. Wait, Kathleen, thank you for the super chat. And those things at the time might look like the opposite of a blessing. But in the grand plan, in the long run, it makes sense. Oh no, you can't have any sweet and sour chicken. Oh no. Hi, baby girl. <sighs> Rachel, hey. Interesting. That's where Pete's will come back into the picture, eh? Pete's is such a fu Don't even get me started on Pete's, eh? How many times can someone use and then discard you? And your stupid ass just keeps coming back for more. Ugh. Ugh, man. Just, just such a fucking loser. I cannot wait till their first stream together, living in whatever shithole. Because remember, there won't be any luxury villas. She doesn't make luxury villa money anymore. <laughs> So yeah, whatever dump they find to rent together, I can't wait till that first live stream together with Pete sitting in the back waiting to eat his fucking Kit Kats and stuff. Oh my God, I'm going to laugh so, so hard when this shit is all over. Mm. I love you. 
I haven't had sweet and sour sauce. I'm sorry for the quick pause again, but you know, another thing. I hate salad so much that I can't even believe I'm about to say this, but I long for the day that I get to go, Pete's, leave. I would much rather now be watching Chantal and Pete's than Chantal and Tall Pete's. Fuck Tall Pete's. I mean, fuck normal Pete's too, but I would rather a normal Pete's. She still rages when she's with normal Pete's. It's this fucking Tall Pete's bullshit. Sauce in a long time. This is actually really good. I'm gonna drink that sauce. So that's my, uh, so that's my random ramblings today. But that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Ugh. What did that mouth do? And she just like wraps her tongue around the noodles like that. Disgusting. Hard Rock, thank you again for the super chat. Wonder if he is squirreling a little money back. He better. It won't be from her money, though. I, I, I'm sure she eats more than she's bringing in at this point. I was laying in bed. <clears throat> Thinking of, like, how grateful I am to be where I am today. And, excuse me, and, like, there was food on her chin. You want to talk about how grateful you are to be where you are today. And there's food on your chin. We can't take you serious. Peacock Butterfly, thank you again for the super chat. How did she afford the villa pre-crackhead Olympics? Believe it or not, and I know this is going to be hard to believe, but very true. She was making more money before the crackhead Olympics started than she is now. She was making better views on her videos. She, she was. Uh, she was in the era of the live stream. She would stream for hours and hours a day the her views were decent still on the streams and she was still getting some super chats so she was earning quite a bit more money than than she is now oh no 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 <laughs> good girl and you ever do that just like have that existential moment where you're like i can't believe i'm like living i'm married living in the middle east Yes, that is a good point, uh, Miss Zippy. At the time, too, Pete's was also working. And they were kind of splitting things. She was paying more of the rent. That was the deal from the beginning and stuff. But that's right. Pete's was working at the beginning. She convinced him to quit the job and that she would take over paying the rent and stuff. But that wasn't the original agreement. You're right. Uh, Taz D, thank you for the super chat. You agreed. Pete's can F all the way. Oh, wait. Pete's can F off and Salad can F all the way off. Yes. Um, but just thinking like oh my gosh imagine like if the house did happen how bad that would be for my life I mean, at the time you know I was like kind of devastated because I really wanted a change from the villa. No, you wanted to change from yourself. It's yourself that drives yourself nuts and makes yourself sick. But you can move out of the villa and move to the mansion. And you can move back to Cornhole. Or you can literally pack it all up and move to Kuwait. It wouldn't make a fucking difference. You hate yourself. So wherever you are, you're still going to fucking hate yourself. It's not going to change a goddamn thing. If you genuinely were happy, genuinely were in love, genuinely liked your yourself you wouldn't be sitting there eating dinner for three every fucking night of your life and raging at anyone who has anything to say about it you know just saying but uh, it, you know it's very understandable i think anyone would have a certain level of self-loathing if they were for one year sexually frustrated unable to reach their own being uh and having zero chemistry at all with the man that they have the audacity to call a husband i'd be pretty fucking blue balled too just saying Dear Drianne, thank you for the super chat. Oh, there's, I doubt it very much that he could get life insurance on her. And I wanted to have like a place that like made me look super like rich and posh. And if I'm being completely honest, I think in the back of my mind, I had that. And I've learned since then that like, it's so phony, you know, it's so phony. This 
is so phony, you fake ass motherfucker. How could you sit there cosplaying this bullshit? It's so phony. Everything you do in life is so phony. This is just today's fucking phony. Because I'm not like that. I'm not like super rich and I'm not, you know. No shit. A show off. Because. Ah, uh, but you were though. You were a show off when you had something to show. When you were pulling in those $20,000 a month, you literally flexed on that piece of shit in the attic. You were talking to all of us like we were fucking bum ass peasants and stuff. Huh? Remember crying about all the money you had in Cuba and stuff? <laughs> Bitch, now you can't afford the things at Lush that you want to buy. Of course now you're not showing off. There's fuck all to show off. But when you had something, even though you squandered it all away, you showed off. Because I've also learned, honestly, that wealth and being rich is sometimes a lot more, um, a lot more than actual monetary gains or um, possessions. Because, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Who's having a baby? I need to scroll back. Who is having a baby? Oh my God. A little fry baby. Who's having the fry baby? Who is it? Damn it, I missed it. Stop my neck. Oh my God. A baby fry is being born. That is so cute. Shit, man. I missed it. Oh my God. I'm day one of Scorpio too. Bless her. the little fry baby is born on day one of Scorpio season. Oh my God. That's it. That's it. That's a fry baby and a half right there. That's going to be one hell of a handful. Oh, uh, a tater tot. That is so fucking cute. But who was it? I'm trying to scroll back. Aw. Uh, Aw. Uh, I will be able to see it after the chat, but I want to see it now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck, man. I miss all the fun stuff. Oh. Ah! Mrs. Spooder woman in the hospital waiting for my son to be born. Thanks for the distraction. Oh, my God. A little Scorpio boy tater tot on day one of Scorpio season. I can't believe it. Day one in this chat. Oh, my God. Yay. Congratulations. That is so amazing. <laughs> LOL won't miss a stream for nothing. I love that fucking dedication. That is a tater tot right there. Wow. Congratulations again. That is so wild. Holy shit. I'm sorry. Freya's cats. Thank you for the super chat. And thanks for letting me know, girl. There was a time in my life where I, like, in my YouTube career, where I bragged about this. Oh, my God. That's funny. Hold on. Uh, she's getting into the good stuff. I don't want to miss it. Julie just said, baby, we'll come out hearing FFG's laugh. <laughs> Baby's first words. And another thing. Um, Which I wish I'd never done. But <laughs> there's a lot of things I wish I didn't do. But Chuck and his ducks, thank you for the super chat. You're right. You know, I was making like maybe 20 grand or so a month. Ah, the good old days, Achins. <laughs> I hope it really hurt just now for her to even get those words out. I hope it hurt, fuck. Oh, Mrs. Spooter Woman. Thank you, everyone. He should be out soon. Oh, my God, baby's about to drop, y'all. <laughs> he should be out soon. It sounds like a turkey in the oven or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> baste him, baste him. 
Fuck, you can tell when a woman doesn't have kids, eh? I just literally called your newborn a turkey in the oven. Forgive me. I'm I'm stoned and an asshole, a childless asshole at that. But the catch was, my life was full of toxic drama. My personal life. Now, I make less than that, obviously. Yeah, give us a fucking ballpark figure. You love to brag when it was 20 grand. Just, just, just a little ballpark now. Huh? <laughs> so, uh, so, wait, salt and light blondie. Thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry, I have such a problem saying your name. Forgive me. Chantal looks like Andrew Lawrence is a kid. You're, you're not wrong, girl. Definitely right. But I have a partner in life helping me, not taking advantage of me financially. Um, and is contributing, you know, even more than me. So. On top of that, the catch here is that my life is more peaceful. And filled with a more serene happiness. No, that's not true. Okay, picture it. A tornado has come through, all right? All the wind is whoosh, whoosh. And then there's the calm. And that's when people rush outside. But people who know tornadoes go, no, don't go outside. It's a false sense of calm. We're in the eye of the storm. It's not really as calm as everything seems. Fucking take cover because shit's about to hit the fan again. This bitch is out in the eye of the storm right now, not even realizing that she's still in the middle of the shit storm. And it's going to blow. Hmm? And when it blows, this moron is going to be hit twice as hard as anything ever hit her with Koki to a certain extent. Yes, the love and the infatuation isn't there like it was with Koki, but she's getting comfortable now. And the worst fucking thing that you can do <laughs> in a situation, let's say like this, in general, in life, is get comfortable. Because the more comfortable you are, the harder it's going to hit when that motherfucker pulls the carpet out from under your feet. You are not going to see it coming. You are genuinely convinced that this fucking grifter is in love with you and that this marriage is genuine. I love how comfortable you're getting, Fatty. This is going to be insanely amusing for us to watch. <laughs> the cokey stuff? will seem like nothing compared to the rages we're going to get when this fucker dumps her. I cannot wait. Oh, T.S. Yomtov, thank you for the super chat. With a partner who doesn't take advantage of me. Oh, wait a minute. Was that a hurricane, not a tornado? We don't have either one of those things here. I was doing things that I had seen on movies. Okay. Replace everything that I just said, tur uh, tornado. It's a hurricane. <laughs> same, same thing. Same eye. Whatever. Or isn't abusive. And I'm experiencing life a lot more than I was before when I was making. Yeah, again, I would hard disagree unless you consider like experiencing life having slipped a wedding band onto a sausage trotter. I mean, what are you experiencing more of now than you were there? The fact that you're in another country? Who gives a shit? You don't have a key to your own apartment. You don't go driving around wherever you want to go. You can't go see whatever you want. You can't do what you want. You have less liberty in this cosplay of a life than you ever had back in the Western world, okay? I was making all that money. So for me, it doesn't, it, I'm happy, happier this way because of those blessings, you know? You're not happy. Everyone can see you're not happy. We are literally in the middle of rewatching Kraken Olympics right now. And everyone can see that was you happy. That was you genuinely in love. Compare, I don't just mean compare like uh, the week in Toronto, which yeah, was her peak happiness, whatever. You can go back to any of the streams that we're watching in the retelling of the Kraken Olympics. She was so much happier, so much more genuinely excited to go and see Koki and spend that time with him. And so, 
girl, you're only lying to yourself. And I don't even think she's lying to herself at this point. Who's she lying to? Cokey now? Uh, salad now? Rabbit, rabbit sugar. Thank you for the super chat. Do you think salad ever brings up the 20 grand uh, during a fight? Probably in the context of if you had spent all those 20 grands, you know, working off of your bankruptcies, I could already be in Canada. I'm sure that's a massive um, sticking point to him mentally that he probably harps on in moments of frustration. Absolutely. But I also, like I've said, I think he's a fucking idiot. So I don't think he realizes that she killed her channel by bringing him onto the channel. He loves to, I fuck himself. This fucking loser really thinks he's something. I think that he thinks she can rebuild this. They can rebuild this. Now that he's in the picture, all they have to do is more couples channel videos. All he has to do is call her sweetie a few more times and babe, you know? So full of shit, the two of them. So maybe salary-wise or income-wise, me personally... I'm not as rich as before, but my life is a lot more rich, if that makes sense. I know some of you will understand. Yeah, we would understand that in theory, but we don't understand it in the context of you because you're lying. Isabella, thank you for the super chat. Who knows? This fucking idiot. <laughs> if he had half a brain, he would have like, I don't know. I would have, let's say, okay. Put yourself in his place. You are playing some useless person for papers. I would give it one year. You do like the bilan de une année. After one year finishes, you look at the like, what the hell is the word for bilan in English? I don't even know. But you you like resume up the year. You look at your fucking gains and you look at your fucking losses and shit. And you realize after a year like, oh my God, I am literally no closer now to getting to Canada than I was a year ago. If anything, I'm further now because at least a year ago, I was free to chat all night to the women on Tinder in Canada. Maybe one of them could have made me papers. Now I've got this heifer constantly looking over my shoulder and shit. I can't just eh, do what I want to do. I would have given it one year. Tweety, thank you. An assessment. The one year assessment. That's the word. Thank you. And I don't think I say this enough, but I want to say so <laughs> I don't think he even knows what a fucking assessment is, you know? Because you guys hear me bitch at haters a lot. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to focus on those of you who are still here supporting me after everything. And like me for me. Your viewership, your membership means a lot. You know. Oh yeah, rabid rabid sugar. Thank you for the super chat. Now I get it. Yeah, definitely. That could definitely be. This is what you promised or something because I do think that she used that or he probably still does in a delusional way. All the money that she makes on YouTube. Yes, 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 totally. This was so good. These noodles. With the Chinese garlic sauce, cabbage. I told you I wouldn't leave a crumb. And I'm not going to. Nobody doubted it for a second. <laughs> so, there you have it. Yeah, hey, Sharon, she's not even trying to hide it. Your membership means a lot. AKA, just please keep sending me those $5 a month. I am broke as all hell, but I got to keep ordering the food. They gave me three chopsticks. They're probably like, this is. What did I say? Dinner for three. Three chopsticks. What does that tell you? This for a family. No way. I mean, I'm still not even full. Chocker. There's no way that's big enough. This is, look at the size of this portion. Why, yes, Chantal, look at the size of that portion. Leave a comment. Would you guys be full by this? Anyway. Insane? I'm going to go smother my cat with love. 
You better not be hiding. I know where you are. <laughs> and um, yeah. Yeah. Sierra Danielle, she had two and three uh, spring rolls. And one of those dishes was udon. I can't really speak for the other one, but fuck. Udon like that? Oof. It's like a bomb to the stomach. Very, very filling. That's a massive portion. I guess that's about it for this video. I've been talking a lot. I really do just randomly ramble about things. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I feel bad because the is sick. I mean, it's kind of inevitable when you live with someone, but that's a weird way of putting it. I feel bad that he's sick, but it's kind of inevitable when you live with someone. If you close your eyes, wouldn't you imagine that she's talking about like back in the day with Pete's? That sounds like a roommate situation. Isn't it more, it's inevitable when you sleep next to someone. It's inevitable when you're married. It's, ine it's inevitable when you live with someone. Sounds extremely platonic to me. Solus, thank you for the super chat. Oh, pious one, not trying to hide her gluttony weight, right? It's not feeling great. So, thanks for having dinner with me and listening to me again. And thank you to all of you watching me. And I guess that's about it for now. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Oh, that was awful. Luna, really, it didn't sound weird to you the way she put that? When you live with somebody, it's, I don't know. It just sounds like a weird thing to say. I would say when, when you share a bed with someone, that's, that's when you get sick. You know, you know what I mean? In my opinion, fuck, you go to bed with a sicky once you're waking up sick. It is what it is. They're fucking breathing on your neck all night and shit. Ugh, that's when you get sick. <laughs> to me, that sounded weird, but I guess to each their own. Uh, Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Uh, sounding like the pork plague. <laughs> Not the pork plague. Ah. But does he live there? Well, that is the question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, or kissing someone, definitely. But I mean, like, you know, relationship or not, if you're a sickie, you're not going to be kissing on your person. But when you're sleeping, it's like you're, like you're in bed, you're fucking breathing up that room, getting all your germs in that air and stuff. And that's just normal. You know what I mean? I thought she didn't have an appetite. Oh, it was so big. That's adorable. <laughs> You agree, Mandy? It sounded fucking weird. Yeah, I think it sounded fucking weird. Just saying. Mm. Oh, yeah, I sleep with my old man. I don't just live with him, right? In the inter... It's just... I, okay, it's not anything she would have said there that would have sounded weird, but in terms of getting someone else sick, it was just a weird way of wording that for a newlywed, in my opinion. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> was it the Rona? Who knows? We didn't see uh, or hear her of her taking a, a test. Who knows? I think he stays in the content room. Agreed. I think that's his room too. Yeah. Yeah, that is her with no appetite. She only had dinner for three, not for six. Poor, poor thing. Maybe she'll, she'll be more up to it tomorrow. Pussy go lightly. Thank you for the super chat. Has anyone checked to see if he's still on Tinder? Oh my God, that would be funny, wouldn't it? I don't know if he'd be that dumb. I mean, he's dumb. Like he's probably still on, but with an alias or something. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> oh yeah, totally agreed. There is no way Salad is banging her. Absolutely not. We can all see it. Listen, you can tell. The way they would look at each other, you can tell if somebody has done it. You know what I mean? That no, no, no. I I would stay with that forever. Oh. But she breathes in the CPAP machine. That's a good point. That is a good point. Huh. <laughs> interesting. Oh, okay. That's interesting. She didn't lose her sense of taste. I don't think it's Rona. I didn't lose my sense of taste the second time. I did the first time. Not the second time. I could taste. I felt like my, my uh, taste buds were a little fucked. But if you really swooshed like whatever you were eating or drinking around on your tongue, I could still taste that second time. It was like the Rona had changed a little or something. I don't know. But the first time, no. Couldn't smell, couldn't taste, couldn't nothing. And it took like a long time to come back. Hmm. 
There was no intimacy exactly. And that is clear between people. You know what I mean? You can tell. I'm sorry. You, ju you just can't. You can tell when two people have fucked the way they look at each other. There's like a, ah, I don't know, like an electricity there. You can almost see the sparks. Like, you know what I mean? And you know that we don't see it here. I don't really know how to explain it more than it's a visual and it's a visual that we have not got. That's all. Again, go back to Koki. Go back to just, the way she would look at him. And so you could tell they were fucking, you know what I mean? You could tell like, not with this guy. No, no, no. They sit in at night and watch movies together. Maybe they do a little Legos or something. You know what I mean? Very platonic. No, they probably don't do Legos. They are expensive. Nah, <laughs> never mind. <sighs> yeah, he does have the look of like, can we get this over with? But they don't even have to do that because that wasn't in the deal, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I can't wait until this whole thing blows up in her face. He dumps her and then we hear the real story. You know, when she's going to really come out and just like burn that bridge with him so hard, torch that motherfucker. And we hear, you know, the real story of how they met, the real story of what this deal was that, oh, I can't fucking wait. That's going to be great. <laughs> exactly, DG. People who are doing it have that secret look they give each other. Exactly. It's like an eye connection thing and you can spot it right away. Uh, I told you, my mom told me that when I was a teenager. And at the time I thought she told me to scare me, but no, no, no. She knew and she, she was right. She told me you can see it in someone's eyes when they have sex. eh? And I left the house that day. Like, Oh my God, she can see it in my face. <laughs> I just think in hindsight, she was saying to me like, Hey, I see you and your little boyfriend and the way you look at each other. I know you're fucking, you know what I mean? She did it to scare me. But she was right. She, You can definitely see it in, in people's faces when they're doing it. Oh, my God. You can see it in people's faces when they haven't even done it yet. You know what I mean. That fucking build up the tension. I, I love it. Oh, mm, mm, mm. yes. You can see it all. Okay. And with her, we have seen nothing. There is no fucking way that they are fucking. Everybody knows that. All right. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I rest my case. Yes, it's in the body language. Absolutely. Mm. They don't have it. You're right, DG. They do not. And they never have and they never will. <sighs> anyway, inshallah, this whole fucking thing wraps up quick. Salad, realize you're never getting to Canada. Not with her anyway. It's time to move on to the next one. Better chance with the next one or better luck with the next one. Bonne chance. Have <laughs> la prochaine, okay? Good luck with the next one. Uh, hopefully it works out better for you. This Waste of time. Waste of your time. Waste of our time. Just dump her ass so we get the rage stream we're all waiting for. Come on, guy. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, we can dream, right? <laughs> well, listen, for tonight, we are caught up in Shantopolis. We have watched the three videos that we wanted to watch tonight. They all sucked. I have nothing to say about any of them, except for the last one there where she tried to really warp this whole Kuwait arc into something it's not. Garbage. Salad has more chemistry with Julia. You're not wrong, Pam. <laughs> I love it. Mandy, I also hope tomorrow is good. Mm. Maybe we'll go shopping tomorrow. Remember, the payday was today. The money dropped in the account today. Maybe we will go shopping tomorrow. Maybe we'll see a mall or something. I don't know. I would much prefer that than any food that she's going to eat. That's all. I hope so. Anyway, y'all, listen, for tonight, we are caught up in Shantopolis and we await tomorrow's mall walk slash whatever the fuck she's giving us tomorrow, all right? That will, of course, be where we pick up from tomorrow. If uh, shithead fucks around and gives us nothing, you know we dip back into crackhead Olympics. That's always plan B, okay? <laughs> for tonight, that is it, everybody. Thank you so, so much for being here. I had a real shit first day back, first fucking Monday. I laugh so much with you guys, as we always do. So thank you so much for all the laughs, all the cleverness in the chat tonight. You guys are awesome and clever and so fucking smart. And that's what makes it fun. Thank you. I really, really need it and appreciate it. Guys, whatever you're doing with the rest of your nights, have a great time. Just be safe. All right. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys.